What's up folks, Spencer with React Native School. Thanks for checking out this class on debugging development and production bugs or issues in your React Native apps. This class is actually sponsored by a company called Instabug and Instabug provides tooling to help you deal with uh, bug reports, crash reports, errors within your production applications. And they've got a great integration with React Native, which we'll be using uh, in the second half of this class. So. Thanks to Instabug for making this class freely available for everyone forever. And I'm excited to actually show you how to use this product, which I've been really happy with as I've been toying around with it. Quick few notes on going into the course. Uh, this course is using React Native. Given that Instabug has native dependencies, they pull a lot of native information in. This course is only applicable to projects that are either uh, ejected from Expo or you've used React Native in it, you've built a traditional React Native app. Um, we are going to be interacting with a little server project just to get data, just so we have another part of the example. Uh, that project's just very simple express server that gives us a random number, and that's being hosted on a project on a site called Glitch. I'll have a link to it, and I'll show you what's actually in that project, just so you kind of uh, can see where we're getting numbers from, what we're requesting. But that should be it. We'll be covering development, both development and production, debugging different tools, tips, tricks, tactics, strategies, mindsets, that kind of stuff for actually uh, debugging a React Native app. So without further ado, let's dive into it. 